Hello traders, so the title of the video is Mastering a Dynamic Trend Lines a Trading Like a Pro. What is a dynamic a trend line? That's a very good question. Right? A dynamic trend line is a trend line that is uh, supporting the price when the price is oscillating around it. Well, have I uh, spoken with my beautiful American accent? All right. Have I managed? All right. That's what I want to say. All right. To explain to you. All right. What is a dynamic? A trend line. So what I will do. All right. So I will draw a line. <laughs> so this may become clearer to you. When you see any trend line and the price is oscillating around that trend line, that trend line is a dynamic a trend line. So you may say, Joe, you start inventing some word. That's true. You will see soon. See, so dynamic a trend line is rising. A dynamic trend line will be rising or declining. It's a clear cut positive slope or a clear cut negative slope. So price going down, but is oscillating or rotating or moving. <laughs> All right around that declining trail line and that trail line is also the media line for the average price oscillation is it is it clear now what is a dynamic trail line will you be able okay to recognize what is a dynamic trail line all right it's a kind of a media line or the center line of okay the price action when a price is rotating or oscillating around that trend line. The dynamic trend line is also is either a positive slope trend line in an uptrend or a negative slope trend line in a downtrend. But the first characteristic is that the price must oscillate around that trend line, and the trend line may represent okay the media line of the average oscillation. I think I've done a good job. All right. If not, let me know <laughs> in the comment section. All right. So I'm going to remove uh, this one here. Uh, we're going to look at this talk. Uh, this is chapter communication, belonging to the communication and services sector. All right. They pay a TV. All right. Talking about TV. We are also talking about, okay, YouTube TV coming up now, all right? Okay, so you now you have a bit of idea of if I manage to explain to you what is the dynamic trend line. You can see that it's a positive slope trend line that we have here for charter communication. Is that correct? Positive slope is rising nicely. The second characteristic is that the prime must oscillate around that a trail line is in true you see here yeah, price went a little bit above come back below it so this is a rotation went back above it come back a little bit below it went back above it and it below it up above it below it and now we have a dynamic trail line in fact the dynamic trail line is representing the force have you done a bit of physics it's like the force that is dragging the price up as the price is rotating around that uh, okay trail line all right so now in this tutorial my objective is uh, okay to explain to you how to master a dynamic trail line like a pro what is taking place here is very clear and neat all right the dynamic trail line is always representing a media line of the price the dynamic okay support of the price as the price is rotating around it okay very very important i mentioned this before when i, was, I recorded a video about uh, the secret of consolidation and i said to trader that whenever you see a consolidation you should highlight the media line of the consolidation here is no a consolidation as such but we see the price going up but the price is oscillating around a trend line so 
because the price is oscillating around the trend line, anytime it deviates a little bit from it, it comes back to it, it deviates a little bit from it, it comes back to it, it go a little bit below it, it will come back to it. So the true value of this move from here, if I place the vertical line there, the true value of this stock, the charter communication, as it was rotating around that red line, the true value, the dynamic true value, is the red trend line. All right. So if you are buying below that trend line, you are buying it, okay, uh, at uh, at a discounted price, so to speak. All right. If you are buying it exactly near the, that uh, trend line, you are buying it at its uh, current uh, dynamic uh, true value. If you are buying it a little bit above, you are buying it a little bit too expensive. So if you are bullish trader, you will be prepared to buy a little bit below when it comes back below it because there's a high shot that it will go back to the true value. It's why we tend to the mean in this case. But here we are using a moving average. Uh, we are using uh, not a moving average. We are using a trend line. All right. So, as long as the, the, the move is, you will notice sometimes that the deviation will be almost equal. Probably, some I showed this to traders in a video. I think at the Joe Trio YouTube channel, we can measure the distance that the price is going away from the trend line. So, anytime we see that it did that, we are prepared. So, you see here, what have I done before? Okay, deviation. We measure the distance, and any time it did exactly the same thing though, on the opposite side, we are biased. This is what's happening here. All right, so here again, you see the same deviation, and people showed it. Put it down here in that zone, people showed it back, and it's, there's a high chance that it will return to its true value, which is the dynamic a trend line. So once we have that measuring stick, as it was. Uh, uh, here, all right, somewhere here, all right, all right. So now, we once we have it, we we just use it. Anytime we see a deviation that from that uh, from that uh, trend line to the top like this, we are expecting the price to return to it, it true value, which is the dynamic uh, trend line here again. So we keep doing that. Just so if you like overbought, overshow, you can apply that if you see a dynamic trend line. But you have to understand what is happening here because I'm explaining to you how you can master it. So you need to understand that uh, this is a rising trend line. If it was horizontal uh, uh, line at this, people, it would make more sense because people understand that because they know there's a, a consolidation taking place. The price is oscillating around the media line of the consolidation or the media line of a triangle, all right? Because a triangle is also a consolidation. But now we do not have horizontal line, we have a line that is going up, sloping up or sloping down in a downtrend. So we can, as we are doing when we have horizontal line, we can do exactly the same thing when we have a rising, okay, a trend line and the price is oscillating around the trend line. Right, so we, in, when we have a horizontal trend line, we will be position, look, giving priority to sell at the top of the consolidation, looking for opportunity to buy at the lower part of the consolidation. We will do exactly the same thing when we have a rising channel. It's just like a, okay, a rising channel, all right? It's just like a rising channel. But in this case, well, you can see that the price usually will be confined. That's one more thing I want to add here. You will notice that the price will be confined in a tiny, a try, a try, sorry, correction. Let me drink something to boost my uh, concentration. All right. My favorite drink, the San Pellegrino. <laughs> All right. Lemon juice. Okay, now the point I'm making here is that uh, very often they probably confined in a tiny triangle. So that's the pressure. So you remember the breakout, all right? Squeeze. You remember that word? Squeeze. Bollinger band. All right? So trader that use the Bollinger band, we talk squeeze the Bollinger band. Well, it's Bollinger band. It's a very, very squeeze. It's tiny like this. All right? Squeeze. Is usually followed by what we call a breakout. Yes or no? All right. Then if I break out above or below, all right. So if you never heard about squeeze, 
Bolivia Bar, you can YouTube search it, you will see video posted by my fellow YouTube creator about the squeeze Bolivia Bar. All right. So similarly, for a dynamic trend line, we have a, a, a squeeze a channel, and a media line of that squeeze channel is the dynamic, okay, a trend line, and the price is oscillating around it. And we can play with it gently without violating the market pattern. Now that I put a channel around that dynamic trend line, it makes sense, yes or no? Boom, boom. Boom, return to the mean, return to the mean. So if you buy here, you will be prepared to take profit near the median line. Don't don't play, don't wait too long because squeeze, all right? But as this is going on in an uptrend, very often you see a breakout. This is the breakout now, you see here? So because it's squeeze like the Bolivia bond, now you see this is a breakout. Will you agree that this is a breakout now taking place for this chapter communication? So the breakout, the first leg, so to speak, can we say that? The first leg of, okay, or the first lap, or the first lap, or the first leg of that, uh, so to speak, of uh, that uh, breakout is this one here. What you, you need to understand is that when we see the first breakout from that dynamic uh, trend line, it provides us with an uh, excellent trading opportunity. This is what the professionals are playing here on the monthly chart. Or you may say to me, Joy, why don't you record this video before? I'm doing something. Uh, hold on, please, traders. Time to eat something. Or trader may say, Joy, you eat too much. All right, here we are. So this is the first leg of the breakout. And when we see that, so because it squeezed before, like the Bolivia bond, the price will try to retest the media line one more time. Why? That's a very good question. That's a very good question. Now, the reason is the true value of uh, the true dynamic value of this stock is the red line that I draw on this chart because it's going up, it's going up, it's, going, it's not a static value, it's a dynamic changing. And the computer loves that, all right? Now, now we see a breakout, which is a bigger deviation. So you can see that the previous deviation, as I measure it, is just there. Now we have a huge deviation. This is the breakout now. So now the market is aware that, all right, it looks to us that the bullish traders are controlling the market. So more buying activity taking place. Uh, now you, you'll be wondering, well, here it is, the volume bar, the fuel. Do you remember? Traders are, you, traders are using too much the momentum and they are not paying attention to the fuel. Fuel. How many shares? 103, 103 million shares plus 86 million shares being transacted as the price was still in that channel here. All right. How do we know those are buying? Because we see now the signature. Breakout. So trader message Joe is definitely bullish. No, no, hold it, my friend. Hold it, my friend. Is there a signal to sell? Yes. You are a technical trader. You will apply a, a different time frame. Uh, trading picture. Hold on, please. So what I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm extending that line. So though the expectation in this case is that the smart money or, or the professional trader would prefer to bring it back all the way to the median line. And if there is a signal to buy here, and then it will push it back up. Sometimes the prime may not come all the way to the median line. That's one scenario. It will retest the top of uh, okay, the, that uh, tiny, tiny channel. All right? And then and it bounces up. If there is a signal here to buy, repeat. If there is a signal here to buy, but wanting for sure, the best trading opportunity for technical traders here, when it's confined in a tiny a channel like this, and you see that breakout like this, this is an excellent time. So you draw the common set trend line along it like this. You see. And after, you see here, after that doji, that's that, that you see, a, a dragonfly doji, 
or this one here, I will be positioning myself to sell using a top-down trading method. But if I'm use, if you are using the candlestick bar, that uh, okay, dragonfly doji is your warning that you should be ready to look for an opportunity to sell. That's what's happening here. These are candlestick bar traders. Or you wait for this candlestick bar to close after this common trend line that I put on my chart is broken, all right? And the following candlestick kind of bar is bearish. So you have a dragonfly doji plus a bearish candlestick kind of bar. It's a bearish candlestick kind of pattern at the end of uh, the month of June because that candlestick kind of bar is not yet closed. This one is not yet closed. And then you implement a top down trading method okay, to sell it down. So the point I'm making here, if it's confined in a tiny triangle rotating around a dynamic uh, trend line and you see a breakout like this, this is a beautiful, okay, bearish trading setup if the common setting is coupled and we see a bearish clear car a bearish candlestick pattern we will implement a different time frame trading method to trade it because the expectation is that the professional would like to retest the top of that tiny channel or even the media line of that channel the opposite is also true sometimes the price may break below so like i said to you it may break below it so don't assume anything it may break so doing all this blah 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 the break below it and then you will try to come back down to eat fair value the media line or to retest the lower part of that tiny channel and then if there is a signal there to sell you will okay sell it using always a top-down trading method is similar to the bullish, the bullish about squeeze a strategy. Have you been squeezed? All right. All right. Have you traveled in a rush hour on a tube? People squeeze you. All right. Trade very packed. You are squeezed. All right. <laughs> All right. If you, live, if, you, if you live in India, probably you have been because uh, most of the trains are very busy, as I see on YouTube. All right, you'll be very, very squeezed. All right, and maybe you lose some weight, all right, just to make you laugh a bit. All right, so this is the strategy about uh, okay, the dynamic uh, trend line, a trend line that is representing the media line of uh, a bullish move or a, a media line of. Uh, a bearish move when the price is oscillating gently around that dynamic trend line instead of having an horizontal okay a, a tiny channel we have a rising channel and a media line of that a squeezed okay a channel rising channel or squeezed okay a declining channel is the the dynamic trend line. The prior will be deviated gently around that dynamic trend line until we see a breakout or a breakdown. After the breakout, we are expecting a pullback to retain the top of that tiny channel or the media line. And if there is a demand to buy, we will use a top-down trading method to trade it like a pro. But there is an excellent bearish trading setup. After the breakout above the, tra cha uh, the channel, we draw the common set line, we monitor the candlestick bar, and we implement a top-down trading method to sell it. If there is a breakdown, we'll do exactly the same thing using a top-down trading method. Common set is kaput, all right? Monitor the candlestick bar and implement a top-down trading method to buy the uh, the store expecting it to pull back to retest the media line of that tiny channel or the lower part of the declining channel. I hope I have managed all right to explain to you the dynamic uh, trend line and that you will be able to master the dynamic uh, trend line a uh, trading uh, like a pro. It's similar to the squeeze Bollinger Band. So the Bollinger Band is we have two bands if you're using uh, the Bollinger Band period 20, all right? So it's sometimes you'll see it's very, very squeezed, all right? The volatility is very, very low. That's what I meant. So low volatility. And then the Bollinger Band just open big time, all right? Bollinger Band squeeze, Bollinger Band breakout. And then the price come out, gushing out. Understand that when you see a breakout, like it doesn't mean that definitely it's going to go up forever. Sometimes we have what we call a false breakout. Now, I do not want this video to be too long, so I will not go into the subject of okay, uh, a false breakout. So you may say to me, it would be good to know, yes. So just draw the line as it is now here, say priority to bearish signal below the three forces and probably to bullish signal above it and handle it with a top-down trading method. If it pull back, if it goes down, do exactly the same thing and just handle it one step at a time. If the signal fails, okay, just come out. I 
I will be recording another video when I will be talking about the fourth breakout and how to handle it. <laughs> All right, my friend. So if you have any question or suggestion, okay, put it in the comment section and do course. I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If you find this video truly, truly, okay, useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that George, you were tired and you were yawning and you sound boring, and this was another blah blah blah. Well, forgive me. Let us know by giving us the thumbs down. If you think that this is uh, an essential tutorial, all right, feel free uh, to share it on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be uh, very happy. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders talking about mastering dynamic uh, trend line uh, trading uh, like a pro. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.